This is Vanessa Marceau, Jane Unchained contributor going live here on the 3rd Street Promenade in Santa Monica for the Cube of Truth. We have activists here who are showing videos of what happens behind closed doors. So for example, here we see a cow getting hosed down with a very strong hose. This is Dean Foods MacArthur Dairy, some cows that have been tossed into dumpsters. These are the footage that we have the activists showing. The Cube of Truth is cubes that these activists form, anonymous faces, as in it could be anybody. And it's showing what's going on in the animal agriculture world. And then we have outreach people who are talking to folks who are watching these videos out on the streets. Bolt gun stunning when they use bolt guns on these pigs. As you see, the pig has been stunned there. If you see on the sides, we have people doing outreach, talking to bystanders who have shown interest in the videos. They're giving them information on veganism. They gather here every week to do this. And we're gonna show some more footage here. We're gonna go to Paul Bashir, who's one of the founders. He's one of the founders of the Cube of Truth. And we wanted to talk to you. I know that this is a convergence of the West Coast here. What inspired you to do that? Well, we have the most chapters within our organization here in the United States, but the least amount of, like, the weakest sense of community here in the United States of all countries. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, each city, I know it was a country so vast, so. So how attempt here is to at least unify the West Coast. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And then we're going to go over to the East Coast and find that oh, okay. later on. Wonderful. Are you doing a... I want to make sure you can hear us. Are you close enough to be able to hear us? Um, can you tell me if you're going to other countries as well doing this? Yeah. Um, no, not other countries. Like we just did an event in the Netherlands. But this year, no. No other countries. Okay. Not that we've got planned. And what inspired you to start the whole Cube of Truth in the format that it's in? Getting out onto the streets, educating people in an effective manner. We really wanted to just raise the bar for how we do street activism, and that's how Cube of Truth essentially came about. And how long has it been going on? It's been, we've been live for three years now, so just over three years now. So many people argue over what's the most effective form of activism. People will argue that, you know, one way is better than the other. Of course, we knew if there were one foolproof way, we'd all be doing it and everyone would be vegan. But what for you, given that this is your format, what for you in terms of outreach is the most effective method? Well, this is the thing. We all think we have our special style and that matters. And that's cute and everything. But at the end of the day, you realize that ultimately your function as an activist is to hold non-vegans to account. That's it. And so whichever way you do it, that's really all your function is, is to hold non-vegans to account for the evils that we do to animals. And whether they're willing and ready to face that and to do something about it or not is, is up to that person. And you can only help to bring that person into a, you know, to, you can only help to bring the truth to that person, to be the medium of truth. And that's ultimately what we need to do to non-vegans is hold people to account. You know, we can all argue all day about what's effective and what's not effective, but as long as we can all agree that we should be promoting a clear vegan message, which means we don't promote vegetarianism as a stepping stone to veganism, because it's not a legitimate stepping stone. It doesn't qualify in the eyes of the animals. Who we represent. 
So we shouldn't be promoting vegetarian, just like we shouldn't be promoting paleo. And as long as we can get on board with that, that we should just be promoting the clear vegan message to people, holding them to, a, to account, not necessarily being dicks about it, but being direct about it. And if we can all just do that, we really, we really will just come down to non-vegans rising up to the challenge and facing this and doing something about it. It will be the ball will be in their court then. Right. And is there one thing that you found that hits people the most? that you've tried and you have the most success at getting a reaction from people? Would you repeat the question? If there's one thing you say, if it's oh, something say. about cows or pigs or the environment or health, one thing that's had the most impact in your experience on free vegan. Yeah, um, I'll take you through what I say.